This election not be shy play. Dino Milaye has lost the election long before today. Hmm. I pray and hope Oshu PDP leaders will learn from this. Let there be fairness in all we do without sidelining anyone or any community. Being in government is an opportunity to unite every fraction, interest groups, communities, and even lure other political party members into the ruling party. Let's always remember that what goes around comes around. Good day all and welcome back to our YouTube channel, Everyday People's Voice, your trusted source for breaking news in business and politics, headlines and opinions, and lots more. Our sources of information are reliable and accurate. That's why we are one step ahead of others. It's my pleasure to have you all here. But before I go further, if it's your first time of coming across our news channel, please help us subscribe, like, and share our video. Once again, I say thank you all for staying tuned. Hey, election not come and go. Dino Milayo has been hospitalized. My country people, this video when I want to watch so, eh? <laughs> when I go see, wait see, PDP for Kogi State use their mouth to talk. So you go no say, eh? This election where they do so, eh? The mago mago too much. Even at Tiko Abubaka. Maybe the father figure of PDP right now, he gets his own problem when he calls. Now, Dino, they say he collapsed after a year, say he lose election. But PDP, they tell us now, say, Dino don't lose the election before the election even starts. Because Dino not be smart in. Information Richard said Dino borrow one billion naira to run this election. He can't lose, <laughs> my country people. What you don't expect? NATO, NATO, NATO die with that now. Nah. Where he wants to see money to pay back? That be the problem with Gino Dina. So, so we could have watched this video to the end. We could have seen waiting PDP stakeholders for Kogi talk. Let's go there. That even before the contest in Kogi is to start, that the People's Democratic Party is undermining its own fortune in our state. It is our party that is about to defeat our party in our state, not even the APC, by manipulating the delegates' list. I will now believe that even if we go for primaries now, they will try to manipulate the process again so that their preferred candidate will emerge. Everybody knows this preferred candidate. And it's uh, actually very disheartening. And I'm not going to hesitate because, I'm, of course, I'm not going to start speaking in riddle. The preferred candidate of the leadership of this party happens to be one man called Daniel Melaye, alias Dino, who was the mascot of the presidential campaign. So if somebody was a clown in your campaign, and you are very pleased with his performance, the mascot, and he made you laugh, or insulted people for you, is that enough to award the governorship ticket of our state to him? I mean, who are we talking about? You didn't know Melaye we are talking about. Check his record. This man has never been employed one day. He has never, the only job he has done was that he came in, in 2007, I was in government then, he came to drop a just name, and Ibrahim, uh, uh, Ibrahim Idris gave him ticket to go and run for House of Reps. He went there and disgraced Kogi thoroughly. He was suspended from House of Reps and remained on suspension until that has, uh, until that uh, that republic, uh, I mean, until that uh, tenure expired. He was on suspension. Fourth, his shirt was torn. That is the president he wants to award. It, it, it shows a lot of contempt from the for the state we come from. For anybody to sit down and think that Daniel Melaye, alias Dino, that you now pick, you, I mean, you ignore everybody, you ignore senior advocates of Nigeria, you ignore captains of industry who are looking for this ticket. You deny them the opportunity of a free contest to just hand over ticket to Dino because he was the mascot in your campaign. That is very unfortunate. 
So we are calling on Alaji Atiku Abubakar. We are not we are not missing words about this. We believe we we, we, we I mean we have heard his denial, but we do not believe him. We are asking that as party leader, he has influence over the secretariat. As I talk to you, the list from my local government, which came from the field, is here. As I talk to you now, I saw somebody downstairs who told me that the entire list has been changed. Because somebody who is close to the National Organizing Secretary, one, one Baturi, they sit down here and just change the list like that. And we are party people on the field. Then at the end of the day, they will get defeated. Then for four years, we'll be running away from Yabelo. Yabelo will pursue all with guns and thugs. And people will sit down in Abuja here, and anything that comes, they will change it. They are in National Secretariat. They will just change whatever they Our presidential candidate, Atiku Abaka, is in court. He joined the suit in March, challenging the election right from the polling unit that there was no fairness. Today is the one that is aiding. Aiding our TD Algo delegate, it should be given to out of 10 people, one person. They've changed, as I'm talking to you, gentlemen of the press, they've changed 185 names to be given to one person. And they were begging if 10 people is contesting and all of them bought form. This is the list. This is the name of the people you could see are right here in Lega replacement. This is the list of the people they have changed. We have their name. This is it. And this is at the name of the people the elected, that they were properly elected from their ward. So if they give 185 delegates to one person out of 10, how much out you have already scored him, score him 185. And they were going, you are asking for free fear. Is that free and fair? No, there's manipulation. And they say the article of Baka is writing a agenda that he does not have another candidate. Ah, can, yeah, can, it's unfortunate. If you go to Obasajor's book, under my watch, you will see how Obasajor describes him. He's at the point in time supposed to tell Nigerians that no, what Obasajor say about me is lying. But he's telling Nigerians now, he's telling Kogi people that what Obasajor say against him is truth. We, we, are not going to, we are not going to condone it any longer. Yes, my final submission. PDP can give their ticket to whosoever they like, but we'll give our vote to whosoever we like. We are sure, go guide. We are telling Nigerians, when the time comes, nobody will say they ring Kogi election. Kogi, we are not going to ring. We are going to do free and fair. If this list is not corrected by the special grace of God, Kogi will not even take thought. PDP will not take thought. Yes, we promise it. We, as our leader used to say, God knows some we can say they, they will help them to lose. We will help PDP to lose the election. If they didn't correct our list.